IBF lightweight champion of the world, Teofimo Lopez, has made life a bit more difficult with regards to his upcoming fight against Vasily Lomachenko. It was supposed to be going ahead October 3rd. Now we don't know. The IBF champ wants more money. He said on his Twitter feed that, how am I supposed to feed my family? To which somebody amusingly replied, if we can't feed our families on 1.25 million, we have got a bit of a problem. There's nothing wrong with trying to haggle for a better deal. Of course, you have to always chew things out when it comes to negotiations. The problem with boxing is when you get too focused on the business side of things, the sport invariably starts to suffer. Things break down. And that is why we've got a potential replacement now with Felix Fideo, the Puerto Rican, stepping in for Lopez to fight Lomachenko instead. And nobody wants that. Has to be said, the way Mayweather played his career, the way he just is, has embedded this vernacular with A side, B side, with trying to always get the best deal like it's stock markets or something. It's like, this is a sport first, but when you treat it as a business first and you start to get your own way, you become inflexible with the business and the sport suffers. It's just how it works. $1.25 million sounds pretty good to me for a guy whose previous pay packet, as I understand, was about 600000 $1.25 million. The likes of Chocolatito, Estrada, uh, Inoue, I believe. Like, Chocolatito in particular, he's an all-time great. And just because he's a small guy, he's never had a million dollars. Food isn't cheaper for him because he's a smaller guy to feed his family. That's just how it works. So if you get $1.25 million, he's looking to get a bit more. I mean, what, 1.5 at most? It's like, I'm not saying be grateful, but I'm saying let's be realistic. Lomachenko, I believe, is in line to make about three plus million dollars, but... And I know he is only has about the same amount of fights, but look what he's done. He's fought quality. For me, he's probably just about pound for pound number one. And he's made a fool of a lot of world-class fighters. So for me, he deserves that difference in pay. Lopez may be looking at the fact he brings a belt to the table. But if he gets fixated on that and, and negotiations fall apart, for me, that is a symptom of how boxing has suffered over the years with this entitlements that a lot, a lot of new champions have. I just want the fight to go ahead so we can bloody continue with this sport. Lomachenko Lopez was one of my most look forward to fights of the year. Lopez is a big guy. He should feel confident. Lomachenko got a bit overly boisterous against Linares and got floored. Teofimo Lopez could do better. And the point being, you don't even necessarily have to beat Lomachenko for your stock to go up because he's seen as so imperious right now. If you even do not bad against him and give him some trouble, your stock's going to go up. That means your earning potential is going to go up. That's another thing Mayweather did that's bad. Got us fixated on the undefeated record. It doesn't matter that much. People aren't really that bothered. People want to see good fights. And they want to see people like Lopez get stuck in and push Lomachenko, who's been making everything look far too easy as of late. Do you think Lopez is being unreasonable? What do you think is the ceiling to what's reasonable in terms of what he should be given? And do you think this fight will go ahead October 3rd? Or is it going to fall apart and we're going to have to settle? for Felix Fideo.